Hello everyone, this is TechBizMo, and today I'm going to be reviewing Maui Linux. So Maui Linux is a Debian-based distribution which uses the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So let's go ahead and get into the review. So as you can see here, we are on Maui Linux uh, on the DistroWatch website. The OS type is Linux. It is based on Debian and KDE Neon. The origin is Germany. Architecture is x86, x64. The desktop is KDE Plasma. Category is desktop and live medium. Status is active. Popularity is 100, 129 hits per day. And I'm not going to read this description. However, I will go ahead and give you guys a chance to go ahead and read this description to yourselves. So go ahead and pause the video and read this if you would like to. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into the full review of Maui Linux. Now, um, by full review, I am not going to be, you know, reviewing the all the applications. I'm just going to be taking a look at, you know, what's uh, included by default and, you know, what's what's new and, you know, not, not really what's new, but anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, I've never seen this distribution at all. All I know is that um, I just installed it and that is it uses the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So anyway, let's go ahead and wait for this to load up and see what we get. And here we are on the lock screen of Maui Linux. As you can see, that is obviously the Plasma um, lock screen. So we'll go ahead and type in my password. Hopefully the uh, aspect ratio will be fixed um, when we're logged in. So, and here we are in Maui Linux. There we go. So it, sh it looks normal. Um, we got this, you know, you know, just normal plasma um, wallpaper, KDE plasma wallpaper, you know, the default one you find in pretty much any plasma distribution. Um, but anyway, um, here we are in um, Maui Linux. Um, as you can see, we have a very huge um, panel. And I guess the, the first thing we're going to take a look at, I'll just leave this in the description, um, as I think it's a link. Um, we'll find out. Um, Yep, it's opening up to Firefox. I guessed correctly, so um, I will just leave this URL in the description for you guys to go ahead and check that out and read it if you'd like to. But I'm not going to read that in this video since that'll just be a whole load of wasting time. So anyway, um, yeah, we've got, as I said, we got this huge bottom panel and we got this, uh, whoa, we got this like really nice menu. That's actually really nice. So, some of the applications we have by default are, you know, you have your recent applications. <laughs> you got um, recent documents, all applications, games, you could take a look at that. Uh, as you can see, it actually does, yeah, seems to me like it does have a lot of bloatware pre-installed. Um, but, you know, that's, that's fine. Just go ahead and uninstall that if you sincerely need to. So, you got games. Um, I'm definitely, if I use this, I would definitely remove Steam since it's so, so CPU consuming. Anyway, so games, you got graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, system, settings and system, um, utilities and power slash session. Um, so we'll just go ahead and, and escape from the menu for a little bit. And um, I believe this uses the Dolphin File Manager since it's a plasma. Yep. It uses the Dolphin File Manager. So in this file manager, we have desktop documents, downloads, music, network, pictures, and videos. And on the side of places, we got home, network, root, tr and trash, and devices, we got our hard drive. Um, I've always sort of liked the uh, Dolphin um, file manager. I mean, yeah, it can be it can be sort of buggy at times. However, it's still re a really, really nicely and well, nice and well built. Um, file manager, especially for the, uh, you know, it's especially um, developed for the uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment. Um, so anyway, right here we've got our, I like to call it the system tray, since yeah, as many of you may know, I used to be a Windows YouTuber. Actually, check out, just just go to my oldest videos and, and you'll see, just sort them to oldest first and you guys will see that I did Windows 10 tutorials. Um, yeah, so in our system tray, <laughs> quotation system tray we got uh, I believe terminal Is that yep terminal um, <laughs> terminal and we got our audio so we got mic and stuff right there um, just gonna verify that that's that's not the same 
as it actually is on here, since I'm really cautious about mic, um, microphone, um, audio volume now. <laughs> anyway, let's get back into the review. Um, go away. Okay, there we go. I believe this is your updates. Yep, update manager. We got, um, our wireless, or, you know, networks, I mean, not just wireless. Um, what's this? Alright, so status and notifications. This is very nice. You got stuff like, you know, shortcuts and stuff like the printers, KDE Connect, device notifier, clipboard, battery and brightness, instant messaging, uh, KO organizer, K organizer, reminder, daemon. Um, right here we've got our calendar and clock. You can see that's very nice, our date and time. You can look at our calendar there. Um, this is your, yep, your notifications. And you got, you know, <laughs> that, which has always been on, you know, plasma distributions, you know, your panel height and stuff. Um, anyway, um, what is my computer? Okay, my computer, oh, yep, it's just going to show you your computer specs. Um, see, I can see I got a Core i7, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 2.9 gigahertz, got our graphics, operating system, very nice. Um, yeah, you got your, your just typical network folder, which I never uh, have understood. Um, I actually, let's go ahead and take a look at our terminal. Um, so I, I believe, was Kaden live in there? It doesn't seem like, oh, there it is. So, um, I think I'll just do this anyway. Uh, I'm just going to test this out since this is a Debian based distribution. It should be sudo apt. Um, so sudo apt install Kaden Live. Now I, I I know guys. I already have it installed on on here. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, you can see zero upgraded, zero newly installed, zero to remove, and 416 not upgraded. <laughs> Love that. And we got sudo apt upgrade, and that should go ahead and update our system to any updates we need. So, I don't know, do we just pin that? I'll just, I'll just leave it like that. Um, anyway, so in our menu, you got like Voco screen, which I believe... Yeah, it's a, a default screen recorder that uh, just comes with this distribution. I've actually seen Voco screen before in other distributions. I just can't put my finger on it. Um, Synaptic Package Manager, is it? Oh, not details. Um, password, the lovely Unicorn 5. Oh, wait, crap. Did I just say my password? No, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. Voco screen. Where we're recording our screen now. <laughs> Go away, bottom bar. <laughs> um, ooh. So we got gu Grub Custo. I believe it's cu Grub Customizer because I've seen it. I've seen Grub Customizer in different distributions. You know what? Go away, shell. <laughs> okay, there we have it. Yep. Grub Customizer. Might actually do a video on this in the future, but you know, I just have to get pseudo Linux to help me out with this since he's the he's the softwarey guy. I'm the I'm the hardware geek. But you know, I still like to use Linux. Um, next thing we're going to take a look at is our system settings. So in the system settings, you got uh, you know selections are uh, sorted out into personal hardware, system administration, advanced and advanced. Um, in personal, we have account details. Um, details, not details, uh, online accounts, workspace behavior, desktop appear appearance, and on hardware we have display, audio, network, settings, input, devices, multimedia, printers, power management, Bluetooth, driver manager, KE Connect, removable storage. Um, in system administration we have user manager, um, date and time, font settings, startup and shutdown, shortcuts, default applications, file associations, um, notifications, system D, um, and search and advanced, we have other plasma services and about system. So in other, I believe, you should just have more advanced. Yep, here we have it. So in, in this, you got like proxy and 
some other Moshicons. Cool. <clears throat> hmm. That's cool. Anyway, we'll just close that out. So yeah, there's a quick little look at the um, the settings. Um, let's see, what else was I going to look at? Oh, uh, hmm. Let's see. Rub customizer all applications. Yeah, like look at all these all these games by default. Look, they have like all these games, but they don't have freaking super tux cart. <laughs> Graphics, you got stuff like, ooh, GIMP image manipulation program. GIMP, wait, is that GIMP image editor? Is that what it's called? GNU image manipulation program. I love that name. <laughs> so, yeah. Audacious. Audacious. We got Krita, Inkscape, and yeah, I already looked at those. Um, internet. Um, so yeah, by default, yeah, by default it uses the Firefox web browser. So yeah, I believe it's not updated. Yeah, by the logo, I could kind of tell. Ew, Google. Here we are in DuckDuckGo. Let's search my name actually. Will Tech Bismo show up? That is the question. <laughs> I love how like that's that's one of the things that show up. What the heck? Well anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this out. I don't want got got my stupid YouTube channel. <laughs> Why do I say st stupid like a British person says stupid? I said stupid. <laughs> Well, anyway, I guess that I guess that is it, guys. Um, there's not I guess there's not much else to take a look at in this distribution. Be quiet, Grace. If you're wondering, Grace is my is my hamster. Um, yeah, a, a, as many of you may know, I was supposed to get a rat tomorrow. It was either tomorrow or today, but um, the uh, pet stores. I actually called all pet stores in the 70 mile radius. I called Petco, PetSmart, Pet. Smart, Pet an aquatic warehouse, you know, other other stores and stuff too. Um, you know, they they all say, oh, we don't have any fancy rats and stuff like. Uh, we're, we were expecting fancy rats today, but they didn't come because, you know, it's. And uh, I actually called some other pet stores, and they were like, um, yeah, we've had like a shortage of shortage of uh, fancy rats for like a long time, for like three months, and I'm not sure why, but we're expecting a package in like two and a half weeks, I believe they said so. Uh, hopefully they have rats in two and a half weeks, but yeah, um, yeah, um, in, in case you guys are wondering, I'm naming my rat, the full name is going to be Vim, uh, Zoo, and then my last name, so, yeah, well guys, there is the full review of, um, Maui Linux, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, comment, like, and subscribe for more videos, as I said, yeah, just comment what you guys think about my reviews, um, if you like my videos, um, videos, <laughs> well, yeah, guys, as I said, it, it has come towards the end of this video now, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one, goodbye!